What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Michaela. I am a small town content creator. Feels like it should be a Disney movie, but it's been a crazy week. It's been my girlfriend's birthday week. Not birthday, birthday week, as the queen deserves. So I've been trying to spend a little bit of extra time with her on top of two jobs and doing this now and doing TikTok. So it's been a little bit stressful as well, but that's okay because we love to stay busy on this channel. I haven't had a lot of time this week to put together two really solid videos in my typical format, which is like, kind of vlog style with like montage mixed in. Uh, so instead, so that I could still get you guys a video, I figured I would just sit down and answer a couple of questions that I've been getting. If that sounds like it's for you, grab your coffee. You guys do coffee or tea? If you do tea, let's get right into these questions. First question, how often do you get your hair cut? Um, I think every six weeks is just about, there's not a whole lot of depth to that. Um, I used to only cut my hair like once every couple months and Grace would just do it. But now it's every couple weeks and I have a hairdresser that does it. If you guys checked out my video that I posted last Friday, it actually kind of takes you guys through my hair cutting process if you're wanting to get a similar cut. That video is perfect for you. Is it homophobic if I'm gay and I hate myself? Well, it's sad for sure. Internalized homophobia is actually a thing. It's a pretty well known thing that I think a lot of gay people go through. So if you're struggling with internalized homophobia, that's a wound that you have to heal over time through your coming out process. So I, I would look into it a little bit more, probably therapy. I'm not a professional, so I can't really help you a whole lot with that, but I can tell you that it's a thing and I'm sorry that you're going through it and I've been through it too and you'll be okay and it gets better. DC or Marvel? Marvel, 100%, which I just watched Wonder Woman 1984, okay? And I've got words about it. Love Patty Jenkins, the director. Wasn't the best movie I've seen. Me and my girlfriend were watching it, we were kind of just like, I don't know about this one. I love your fitness content, thank you. Can you keep us up to date with marathon training, etc.? Yes, if that's something you guys are into, comment down below and I will make sure that I keep you in the loop about whatever I'm kind of doing. Um, I've kind of looked into doing some triathlon stuff. I don't know. The issue with that is that I'm a bad swimmer, but it's like we gotta challenge ourselves at some point. So, maybe I'll take that on if enough people are wanting to watch that, we'll see. Am I the older or younger sister? Comment down below, do you guys think I'm older or younger? I'm not ready to spill the tea about that one yet. Wait, you look so much like Ellie from the last one. <laughs> I have been getting that like no other on just like every platform. I'm sorry I haven't done the cosplay yet, you guys. I'm honestly just, I'm nervous about it. Like. I don't know how to do cosplay, I keep saying that. I just don't know how to do it. I'm trying to find like sounds that I could do the cosplay with that would work, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure how to do it, but me and Grace are gonna be playing The Last of Us and making a YouTube video about it. That'll potentially come out Monday. We I was trying to put it out today, but I didn't realize that it was so hard to screen record on the PS3, so I have to like go get stuff for that, and then how do you and Grace deal with the disrespectful comments? Um, that's a great question because there have been a lot of them, so stop if you're doing that. I can't go through all the comments on like TikTok and everything. I'm just too busy for it. I mean, if I am scrolling through and I see something that's disrespectful, I just delete it. I don't, there's no need for us to be like looking at that, for that to be a thing that we see. I try not to give any more attention to it than I have to, you know? Just kind of like delete it, pretend like it never happened because it's rude and that doesn't happen really as much on YouTube. I feel like the YouTube subscribers are um, a lot more like respectful of that. TikTok is like, but YouTube's like, more sustained relationships between the creator and the, I don't know. I could be totally wrong about this. It's just my experience. I've been on YouTube much longer than I've been on TikTok, so. Where do you get your hats slash caps? Um, it's kind of just been like a collection over time. Okay, I'm gonna hop off TikTok and I'm gonna answer some YouTube questions now. Sarah wants to know what kind of camera slash lens do I use? Currently right now, for YouTube, for work, for anything basically that I use a camera for in the most part, I'm using my Canon 80D and the lens that I shoot on just depends on what I'm shooting. Um, I jump between, right now I'm on an 18 135 millimeter lens. Um, this one's nice to get just like a wide shot because my camera is a cropped sensor camera. I do also have like a 50 millimeter that I like to shoot on to get, so if you're looking at like one of my montage scenes that looks like really creamy, it's probably my uh, 
50 millimeter lens that I was shooting on because that one's awesome to just get that really low aperture and get that really blurry background that a lot of people like that I also like. So yeah, that's the camera that I, I use currently. I'm kind of looking at getting a different one though. So if you have recommendations, feel free to drop them. People want to know about Ellie cosplay. Coming soon, I promise. I'm working on it, I promise. I have to mentally prepare for that as well. Do you put sugar in your coffee? Not usually, I'm more of a milk in my coffee kind of person. So like this guy's got some oat milk in it. How do you have such silky hair? Do you put coconut oil or some different type of shampoo? I, no, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you that I use uh, some kind of product that I don't. No, I pretty much just use whatever shampoo and conditioner my girlfriend has in the house. I am very, I don't know, I don't use a lot of products. I'm kind of open to looking into using some more stuff just as like a form of self-care. Um, I want to get a skincare routine really bad, but I just haven't put the work in to do the research about it, which I really need to. They say the best skincare in your 30s is taking care of your skin in your 20s. And I'm in my 20s, so. I need to start doing that. Okay guys, that is all the questions that I'm gonna answer for today. If you have more questions that you want me to answer in a future Q&A or that you want my sister to answer, that you want my girlfriend to answer, um, just go ahead and comment them down below and we'll make sure that we get to those in one of our vlog style formatted videos in the future. Stay tuned for another video coming out Monday. Um, and I also probably need to put out a video addressing the drama with Jayus, only Jayus and if I'm boxing them or not, because there are mixed emotions about it, which I understand. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys Monday with a video, probably with me and Grace. But yeah, have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves, mask up, stay safe.